what's good chat my name is jmo and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this cool pixel sorter transition in after effects so this is not a free plugin however all of my other tutorials everything is completely free but if you guys have this plugin already or if you guys want to cop this plugin this is not sponsored or anything i just think that it's a cool effect and it can look really cool if done right so just a disclaimer before we get started man hopefully you guys can learn something from this and let's just hop into after effects and get straight to this basically what we got here is these two clips of diego right here so we're transitioning from this clip into this clip right here i'm gonna go ahead and pre-comp these two clips together so i'm going to highlight them both and do Control shift c and then go ahead and move all attributes into the new composition and click that little box right here click ok and that's just going to put them into one layer and if you double click on that layer you guys can get access to those two layers again however you want and you can just exit by clicking on your main comp right here just like that clicking in clicking out just like that and so what i'm going to go ahead and do is add on the pixel sorter transition so this is called pixel sorter 3 this is the newest version updated in 2024 uh, so i'll just click on that bad boy right here and off rip this is what it looks like when i'm not doing anything so as you can see as you increase this bottom threshold right here that is basically going to act as the main pixel sorter i guess if you turn that up all the way it's going to fill up the entire screen and then you know i find something like around here looks good so 0 0.6 and then as well if you guys mess with the threshold that's up here this can also kind of adjust the i guess height of all of these individual pixels that are being stretched out but honestly i'm not really going to mess with that one uh, maybe i'll mess with it a little bit like that and then what you can do is go in here to stretch and you can also turn on this stretch box and this is going to get a whole bunch of different looks as well and this kind of makes it look a little bit more 3d in my opinion um, so that can definitely look really cool and again this just kind of works the same but in this example up on the screen i'm actually going to turn off the stretch value and then again you know turn this up to something like 0.6 and then here for angle we're going to go ahead and turn this to i think zero to get that 90 degree look and then if you guys turn it to 90 degrees it'll be going up and down so i think that looks pretty cool then if you go into the look drop down over here and you start adjusting the pop that can increase a lot of rgb looks which can look good but i'm not going to be using that and then i like to turn the blur up just a little bit if you turn it up all the way it's going to obviously add a ton of blur but i don't really want that i just want to add a little bit here and as you guys can see here i am editing in quarter quality instead of full quality and that's just going to save me a lot of time in the editing process so i'm not going to kill my renders and have it take forever so then over here for block height this is actually one of my favorite things. I didn't know that you could do this until today. So if you guys increase the block height, you guys can get like these really kind of thick looking ones. And, and this can look like this. And I, I honestly think that that looks pretty cool. So, so if I turn the block height all the way down to zero, and then if I increase the block width, it's almost going to create a bit of like some digital synthesization if that's a word it creates a slight bit of a digital synthesizer kind of a look so that's definitely a really cool option here and I, I do really like that and another way to get this kind of look is by using the omino diffusion effect which is a free plugin so i might leave that linked down in the description but if you can't find it make sure to check out the omino diffusion tutorial that's on my channel but for now i'll just bring that down to zero for block height and width and i actually want to turn on invert and mirror i think that this makes the effect look really cool we can just add some you know kind of interesting cool looks in there that really adds a lot more detail in it i think and then if we go to strips if you start adjusting the offset this is also going to kind of adjust that 3d pixel sorter look and then offset random is probably my favorite because it's going to then add a lot more detail it's going to add some kind of extra little mini pixels that are stretching out from the original pixels so it's just creating more pixelation stretching and it randomizes it 
to make it look really nice and then when you guys adjust the angle like that can look really crazy now if you go to random seed as well that's just going to basically change the rotation for each individual pixel and then i like to increase the feather start just a tiny bit just so it kind of creates as you can see here this is what it looks like with the feather and this is what it looks like without it it kind of just adds a little bit of smoothness to it which i, I do like and then same with feather end maybe just put that up to five percent as well and that's just gonna have a bit of the same effect on the other end of the pixels so now i'm gonna get into some of the keyframes and how to actually make this effect right here so if i go into my pre-comp layer by just double clicking into it it's going to bring up the original layers without the effect and all i'm simply going to do is drag the second clip over the first one like that and then when i have this layer selected i'm going to click t on my keyboard to bring up the opacity keyframes and just set a keyframe here on the first frame and bring it down to zero and then right here at the end of the first clip bring it up to 100 percent and then go ahead and highlight those and do f9 on your keyboard to easy ease them or right click go to keyframe assistant and click easy ease now if i am going a little bit fast for you guys just pause run it back as many times as you need uh, but i just like to go at my own speed because i don't want to match your speed i want you to match my speed so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in here to the first clip and add on the tritone effect and then for the mid-tone i'm just going to set that mid-tone to something that's in this clip and that's going to make the first clip match this second clip because if i go back out here and you see the pixels are affecting everything in the second clip and they're also going to be affecting this first clip very similarly only because of the color because if i take off that color it's going to look like this which is not matching up very well with the second clip so that's why it is really important you're going to want to add on that tritone effect and go ahead and just set the mid-tones to that brown color and it's just going to look a lot better here to make a smoother transition if that makes sense so now that we have a bit of a smooth transition like that with the opacity keyframes what we'll do is in the middle of this clip is we can set a keyframe for this threshold value and then leave that at the peak 0.5 or 0.6 and then over on either end of it bring it back down to zero zero and then same on over here like that and then obviously since you don't want this first clip to look brown like that what you'll do is just go in here and then set keyframes for blend with original so right here i'll set that keyframe at zero and then maybe i don't know 10 or eight frames over i'll bring that to 100 percent so it's 100 percent back to the original coloration and then it's gonna look like that basically. And then with the pixel sorter effect, it's gonna look like that. So that can look really cool, man. And then of course, what's really important to do is bring up your used keyframes. So when you have this layer selected, click U on your keyboard and then highlight those keyframes from the pixel sorter effect and do F9 to easy ease them. And this is where I like to create an interesting graph so i'm just gonna pull all these handles over and i'm using the speed graph so if you guys don't see the speed graph you're gonna come down here and click edit speed graph so it's just this little drop down here it'll either be in the value graph or it'll be in the speed graph which i like using over the value graph and then i'm gonna pull the handles so i'm just gonna highlight this handle and make sure that it's pulled all the way over as much as it can and then same with this one i'll just pull this one over as much as it can to the center right here and then i'm not going to pull these all the way over to the center instead i'm going to have it go right around there something like that and then kind of have those line up as best as they can so i have something that looks like this and then of course you guys can drag the keyframes over as much as you want to make this look as good as you want so right now to start off i have something that looks like this right here which i think looks pretty decent um and then i find that if you again change the angle back down to 90 it's going to make it up and down which i think looks way better and then as well i think it looks really cool if you make it kind of like this diagonal look here it kind of looks like almost a type of anime effect which i think looks super smooth man and then obviously 
make sure to render this out in full quality before you export it just to see what that looks like. And then the most important thing is you want to create a new adjustment layer and then add on good old RSMB, which is basically an artificially created motion blur. And if I zoom in here, you guys will be able to see this is what it looks like with motion blur. And this is what it looks like without motion blur. So that makes a huge difference. It's going to add a lot of smoothness to your clip just to really really polish it off and i really add this onto every clip this is not a built-in plugin this is a paid plugin and it's not sponsored but i do highly recommend that if you guys like this type of stuff definitely check out my website jmovfx.com i've spent about two years cultivating really good editing packs and presets that are going to help you speed up your workflow while maintaining high quality results so yeah man definitely check that out i got some special promo deals going on as always man i I appreciate you guys for tuning in. God bless. Peace. Yeah.